Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. I've got an update for you on the filament extruder, but first I want to point out, uh, if you look right here, well, this area right here, you can see there used to be a window right here and the window is gone. Uh, the reason is there was water that was getting, it was running down this wall on the inside and uh, there were two windows in the shop. There's one over on the other side and I'm getting rid of both of those windows. Uh, I'm taking advantage of working on this wall and I'm moving some outlets around, things like that. So I've been real busy with this. Um, and like I said, the water was getting in there and it, it damaged the inside of the wall pretty bad. It was a lot worse than what I thought. And so I had to pull all the siding off the back of the building and to be able to work on this wall, everything in the shop got pushed to the center. Uh, so I'd have space along this wall here. And that's why I haven't been making a whole lot of videos. I've been having to deal with this. And to make things worse, uh, where I was at, we were in the middle of a, a two month long drought. I think it's probably rained a quarter of an inch in the past two months. And as soon as I pulled the siding off of the back of the building, it rained for five days straight. So uh, this has been taking up a lot of my time, but uh, before all of this happened, I was able to run some filament through the filament extruder. And I got, I got a whole bunch of blocks printed out. Uh, everything worked and uh, no jams in the printer. So uh, let me show you that and talk about that. Okay, so what I have done to fix the extruder, you can see I've got all these cubes here and uh, they all printed fine, not a, not a one jammed. And uh, what I did is I backed the heat off. Uh, I think I had the plastic too hot and that's what was causing it to go to an oval shape. I found a pretty good uh, a sweet spot there on the heat that uh, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. Uh, works just right so the only problem I ran into was this and it only did it on the top of these three cubes and I don't know why if it was just a coincidence but I think what has caused this let me show you here's a good cube and then here's one that's rough on top I think the filament got too thin and uh, what I did is I just ran it in manual mode and I just kind of eyeballed the calipers and made uh, adjustments as necessary. And I did that to just eliminate some of the variables to see if I couldn't fix the problems. But uh, all these cubes right here, these printed fine. And these three, uh, like I said, they're kind of rough on top. And I just let it run for about five minutes in manual mode and it, it made enough plastic. Um, all the metal flakes are gone. Uh, all the trash that was in that that setup is gone. It made really good usable filament. Um, I think now the thing to do is just get that PID up and working and that should take care of this problem. All right, so that's a quick update on the filament extruder and uh, what's going on here with the shop, with the wall and this whole mess and everything. So as soon as I get that uh, straightened out, I can hook my wood stove back up. I don't have any heat in here right now either. Uh, and I can start making some more videos. I've got a bunch of cool videos coming up, so please be sure and subscribe. Give me that uh, thumbs up if you like what you've seen, and thanks for watching.